big update on the RTX 4080 Super. There's an AMD firmware that's messing up the 86 and 8700G APUs. MSI is actually designing a watch. The cordless RTX 3050 performs pretty badly. Intel's concerned about the new 5700X3D chip. Intel Arrow Lake's CPU may not end up having hyper-threading. And yes, AMD is going to fix the 8000G APU processors. Plus two really cool things that I just simply wanted to share with you about the MSI Claw and then Starfield. There's a lot of stuff to cover, so let's go over the RTX 4080 Super review, benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff, which was posted over on the Tom's Hardware website probably one of my favorite websites when it comes down to very detailed in-depth reviews. Another really good one is Gamers Nexus. And the reason that I do like this website as much as I do is because they give charts in these like different ways. Anyways, let's go over the specs, benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So we got the RTX 4080 Super, RTX 4080, and then we also have the RTX 4090. Not gonna lie, your boy ended up getting baited, so I am now over on the PC Gamer website to look at their benchmarks of this because the Tom's Hardware, <laughs> there's there's no benchmarks here. I got baited, boys. I'm so sorry. Um, actually, hold. Up. I could be incorrect about that. I didn't. I actually did not do this. Okay. Did not get baited. Okay. Well, next page. Holy moly, my friend. We got like five pages here. So we're, we're just going to go over to benchmarks. Oh, that's going down there. Okay. Oh, that's wiki cool. I like, I'm going to use this website just because that's cool. We will go back over to the Tom's Hardware website. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. That's way cool, dude. I think that's sick. You gotta figure out how to do that on my website. Oh my gosh, what is that game? Red Dead Red... Wow, the lows, man. That's crazy. I wonder why. I wonder why the lows are so low. Have any of you... Yeah, see, that's... Because that's what I saw. Like, all of them were like... Alright, let's come down here. This... Yo, I like this. This website... This, whoever designed PC Gamer's website is a wicked good website developer. This is sweet. Samples permanent. So this is compute. Blender. And when we come over here, we got power performance for peak watts, average watts. So we got average 4K frames, average 1080p frames. <laughs> Holy moly. It's like three times more. Or two and a half. Or two and a half times. Not more. But peak temperature, average temperature. Oh my god, it's literally identical. And then GPU frequency to average megahertz. So, oh, so that's probably why. I'm like, see, I hate it when they do this type of charts. I like seeing everything right beside each other. Overall performance. Rasterized performance. Okay. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I hate when people use word, big words like that. Like, just use words that everybody knows. All right, so ray tracing performance. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's that bad. I don't, that's crazy. He, this is new how he's done like multiple pages. This is insane how much, how big this review is. All right, so you guys can get an idea. This is crazy. This is outrageous how long this uh, review is. Uh, like every video I have the title of uh, each art. I don't put links to these articles because YouTube hates it when they drive traffic off of their website. So you can blame YouTube for me not putting that. So the bug, there's a bug that's messing around with performance in the 87 and 8600 G APUs. Um, and then this right here is just AMD setting to fix that problem with these. And it's, it's just a throttling issue and they're just not performing as well as they're supposed to. There's a lot of reviewers that are saying there's a huge drop off in these CPUs. Uh, I'm pretty sure Linus, this also happened with the RTX 4080 super. I'm pretty sure that, or he was saying that because he ended up pairing it with the 8700G or something. I don't, I don't remember. But either way, that's really all I need to say about these. They're just, AMD will fix it soon. They, they I mean, they have a, a decent amount of driver problems, but, and they always fix those problems pretty quickly. So this is just cool. I just thought this was neat and I wanted to share it with you. I just thought this was cool. So there's an MSI gaming PC watch, which is dragon themed and it's full of, it's a full fledged rig for your wrist. Whoa. Uh, play this. Please do not copyright me, YouTube. I'm going to be so upset if you do. Look at that. Is that not cool? I think that's wicked cool. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Let me know how many of you think that's cool. So this right here, the RTX 3050, six gigabytes, 20% slower than the eight gigabyte version. And then you go over here to the three, 3D Mark, as you can see the 3050, um, I guess it's kind of expected with a powerless or one of the first powerless and cordless graphics cards. It does stink, but um, yeah, it is a lot slower than the other one. So if I was you, I'd just like bear with looking at a cord. Just get one of the nice uh, cords. <laughs> So this right here, AMD should be worried about gamers favoring AMD's chip, the new CPU, or the new Ryzen, oh my gosh, I can't talk, Ryzen 5700X 3D, which I'm going to be honest, dude, I got to agree with you, the 5700X 3D is an incredible value for a, for a CPU. Yes, it may be a little bit older. I know the 5700X 3D is brand new technically, but it's like an older chipset, and uh Yes, I'm not saying it's like budget bottom of the barrel, like 13100 type of value. I'm just saying that, you know, for 250 bucks, it's a good value. It's It may not be the cheapest CPU out there, dude, but like you literally buy this and just use it. You don't even need a graphics card. <laughs> or do, do you? No, you don't. Not for the 50. I'm just trying to ch double check with the 3D. I could be incorrect about that. I don't think I am, but I could be. Uh, so the this uh, so the Air Lake S CPU was spotted with 24 threads, but no hyper threading, and the AVX 512 support. So that's really all I need to say about this. But if you guys would like to uh, pause the video and read all, over all of this stuff, it's really just covering what like wh how they found out this information. Um, and then the new series expect to launch with various configurations. For the 8 and 16, 6, 16, and then 6 and E. So that's that information. And then the MSI Claw launches on April 1st in Spain. Pre-orders now live starting from 880 bucks. So I'm just curious as to like what's going to, like what people are going to post about this. Like because it's literally going to be releasing on April Fool's Day. So you know there's going to be like a bunch of like clickbaity type videos. And MSI's marketing team is extremely smart for actually thinking about that. Because I wouldn't have thought. You got you to think about it. Like, if it, like it's it's releasing at some like random time, not the holiday, not like whatever during. You know what I mean? So like, when's another good time? When all the influencers that get it can clickbait every single person looking videos up on it. Awesome way to do this, MSI marketing team. <laughs> but it's actually a really good idea. I'm just saying. So the next article is that Starfield is finally going to be getting AMD FSR 3 support next week. Again, it's a pretty short thing that I just wanted to say. It's a, it's a nice update for those of you that are using AMD graphics cards. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. I want to get, I'm going to be getting that MSI watch, but yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. Peace.